Oh my god. He just popped out and I I kept hesitating. Just the way he was standing face at me. And then there was a point where I was like, you know, you know what, Emily, it's still early. Like it's still early. You still have a ton of season left. And then I thought about how much stuff I have to do and how I would so regret not taking this deer. And then I, I've just, I feel like I've become a better hunter in a way where I'm not like knowing when I'm going to pull the trigger. And my brain said, we're going to take him. And he kind of went a little bit more broadside and dropped him right there. He's down. So, uh, this is my second buck. My first deer was a spike horn. My first buck was a spike horn. I still have a doe tag over here, but... Ah, oh, sweet. Oh my God, I can't believe he came out. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna go check him out because he's down right there, so. Oh my God. Okay, let's go check him out before my battery dies and I made my finger bleed again. But, whew. All right, finally got out of stand. I cut my hand again, so I'm bleeding times two. But uh, I will put a picture of this deer right here. Um, he's a small eight, I think. He may be a small six. Nothing crazy. We really have to pick and choose up here in northern Maine. It's a rare occurrence to get, you know, a real big deer. And if you're gonna get a real big deer, then you're gonna work for years for it. So this is my third year hunting up here. And uh, I'm extremely excited. woke up this morning and I just wanted to be in bed. I've had a hard time waking up. When I shot my first deer, I woke up and Keenan was still asleep and I was like, you're not gonna get up and go hunting? And he said, no. And so I was like, well, I'm going. So I got up and got ready and drove out, walked all the way down this road to sit at the spike plot and I shot my first deer and so I went and woke him up and was like hi I shot a deer and he was all like discombobulated shot and so this first morning when I woke him. up and I was getting ready Keenan was in bed sleeping like I'm like you're not gonna get up no nope. and I'm like okay I'm probably gonna shoot a deer today because it's the same scenario I kept hearing things it wasn't like deer noises. I mean, you could hear something walking, but there's so many squirrels around. He just walked right out, moseyed right out. I turned the camera on as soon as I could when I saw him, so you guys could see him as well. And now I'm doing the lovely thing where I have to open this gate and run back and get Keenan so someone can be excited with me. Oh wow, look at the white on his nose. I know. Second deer. Second buck. Second buck. He stinks. Yeah. He has been rubbing somewhere too. Yep. Yeah, he's got green bark in his horns. All I wanted to do was be asleep today in bed. <laughs> now I got this. So it happens when you wake up. Five, six, seven, eight. 
You hang Maine, a ring on it, a Mainer Maine will count it. In Maine, he's an eight. I don't even know. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty excited. I definitely hesitated a lot there. But I knew that if I didn't shoot this deer, then I would definitely regret it at the end of the season. Because chances are up here that I won't see another soul of an animal. I saw a lot of squirrels, though. Second deer down. What do you think? Where were you this morning? Letting dogs out and Where were you? feeding Where? dogs their breakfasts and letting Where? them out to pee. Where were you when I left? I was in bed. <laughs> Just like when you shot your spike. Just like when I shot my first deer. Sweet. This is a very nice bodied buck. I'm guessing 175 pounds. Which the rack might not show it, but that's how a lot of deer up here run. Yep. Large bodied.